Prince Philip's story is one of untapped potential, showing flashes of brilliance marred by personal problems off the field. Our 23 ABC Sports Director Stephen Hicks now joins us live for a look back at his playing career. Stephen? Yeah, Tim, his story becomes all the more shocking when you take a look at what type of a player he was. This is someone who found great success in college and was even drafted high in the NFL, but he was just unable to stay out of his own way. Physically, Lawrence Phillips was one of the best running backs in the history of college football. His sophomore year at the University of Nebraska, he ran for more than 1,700 yards, still a school record for a single season. Lawrence Phillips breaking tackles to the 20 with a cut back to the 15 yard line. Behind his explosive running, Nebraska ended the 1994 season undefeated. But following that success, his off the field problems began. Less than two weeks after being crowned a national champion, Phillips was arrested for assault of his ex girlfriend. His head coach, Tom Osborne, suspended him but brought him back before the national championship. I'm working on, uh, I guess, uh, becoming a better person. and. Uh, I'm definitely not going to let that mistake happen again. Despite the controversy, Phillips shined. Phillips inside the 10. Lawrence Phillips scores the game's opening touchdown. After three touchdowns and a second straight national title, Phillips declared for the NFL draft. With the uh, sixth pick in the first round obtained from the Redskins, the St. Louis Rams select Lawrence Phillips, running back, Nebraska. Despite many questioning his moral character, others thought he could finally put his off field problems behind him. Take the problems off the field away. Everybody's called him the best player in the draft. You have to sooner or later let the talent go. This is not a league of angels. Despite rushing for 12 touchdowns with the Rams, his off the field issues continued and he was released before playing two seasons. Brief stints followed with the Dolphins and in Europe before he signed with the 49ers in the fall of 1999. This time his on field play came into question after he missed a block that resulted in Steve Young's career coming to an end. Two months later he was released by the team. After it failed for him in the NFL, he tried to play in the Arena Football League, but he walked out on the team without telling even his coach about that. From there, he moved to Canada, but he was unable to meet what the team called their minimum behavioral policy. And so it's just a very sad story. From start to finish. Yeah, I'm All sad right. to see it come to an end. All thanks, right, Stephen, thanks.